the way of Will John. What sort of pieces or keys to the, to, to the puzzle of the nature of reality do you think would be solved by being able to go there that long? Well, I think, first of all, I mean, to, if we could definitively establish that there were indeed um, intelligences, highly advanced alien intelligences that were existing outside of our little slice of reality outside of our space-time and that we could actually communicate with with great ease by just you know inhaling a lung full of uh, one of the simplest plant alkaloids in, in, you know, on the planet that in itself i think would be the most you know shattering and important discovery in the history of humankind by far by far um, so i think establishing what they are and where they're from uh, and that they are indeed they do indeed exist you know, before you enter their realm and continue to exist after you leave their realm. Um, that in itself, that would be the first thing to do here, is, is work out who, who are we dealing with. Are we dealing with some alienated fragment of our own collective unconscious or something like this, as some people have proposed, or are we dealing with actual independent intelligences? That would be the first thing to establish. Um, and once you've done that, then um, begins a process of establishing two-way communication with them. You know, what can we learn from them? What could you learn from an alien intelligence that is perhaps several million or billion years more advanced than us? You know, I think it feels like when you go into that space, it's so advanced. It's this hyper-technological, constructed, inorganic domain filled with these astonishingly intelligent and, and advanced beings it seems like they are a product of a vast period of technological and biological post-biological evolution uh, they're like what we could be in a million years time you know when we've completely dispensed with our physical wet bodies uh, and, and entered some other kind of domain um, that's it feels like you're entering that kind of space um, and so so yeah what could you learn from a being that's a million years more advanced than us I mean presumably you could learn everything presumably they, they know everything about the nature of reality and of, of where we came from where we're going um, could it be uh, that they will Mm, allow us or give us the information required for us to kind of enter their domain um, are they the teachers if you like uh, the gurus uh, that will help guide us along the path towards our own transformation our own um, um, dispensing of our biological form and entering into a new type of uh, existence as, as, as a conscious and intelligent uh, species um, you know that would be the ultimate aim i guess and that would be the ultimate kind of mm -hmm. uh, information that we could gain from them but then you could think of other kind of more trivial things like you know how to harvest energy from um from the uh, the quantum foam or how could we right. um you know these kind of more parochial earthbound uh, needs that we have um perhaps you could gain that kind of information from them but that might be completely um, trivial and kind of meaningless to them you know you're dealing with a, an intelligence that is so far beyond anything that we could consider um, a, a living organism um, that they 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 might you know it, it, it's kind of it would be kind of silly if you like to start asking them things about you know how can we how can we get energy how can we you know, increase the efficiency by which we harvest energy from the sun or something like this they would say no 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 you need to aim a bit higher than that my friends because right. <laughs> what's about to happen in the next few years is going to blow your fucking mind you know i think that's yeah. um yeah, yeah. yeah.